We're here to talk about this, the Peak Design Everyday Tote Pack, and why I think this is the perfect camera bag for dads. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Desmond, and I make videos for creative dads that want to take better photos, shoot better videos, and create lasting memories with their families. And today, I'm gonna to talk about this, the Peak Design Everyday Tote Pack. Now, don't let the odd name fool you. This hybrid tote and backpack combo is one of the best camera bags for creative dads on the go. So let's talk about what this is. So this is a hybrid bag that combines both the functionality of a tote and of a backpack. And obviously it comes with all the bells and whistles that you would expect from a Peak Design product. And we're gonna jump right into that. First, let's talk about the exterior of the bag. This 400D recycled nylon material is, is incredible. This outer shell adds a lot of protection for the gear inside. Also, it's water resistant, it's weather resistant, dirty hands, baby fingers, milk, food, all of it can be wiped right off this bag, which actually makes it really ideal for, again, dads and other parents on the go. You wanna carry your camera gear, also your, your kid's gear, and then you don't have to worry about everything getting dirty. A couple other things to mention about this bag is, one, these weather resistant zippers, but they are also full length zippers. So they run all the way up and down the bag, allowing you to access the entire length of the bag from both sides. And that is incredibly convenient. Again, I'm just gonna show you here, if I'm walking around with the kids, I'm doing something, I can easily swing the bag over and now you have access to the entire length of each side of the bag. And that's just convenient. Okay, so another thing I wanna call out on the outside of this bag are these handles. These are soft, durable, good to hold. They're thick, and I think they'll probably hold up against most of the use you'll get out of this. The other thing that's nice about it is, again, you have the functionality of a tote. You can easily pick this up, carry it, bring it with you. Now let's talk about the closures. So this is a magnetic closure. It's just a convenient way for the handles to stay together giving you that nice clean profile, no flopping handles everywhere, uh, which I really like. The other thing is once we open up these handles, you've got this, a kind of classic roll top style top opening. And here, it's also sealed by magnets. You can probably hear that satisfying click. Inside, you're going to find another weather sealed zipper that runs the entire width of the bag, giving you full top-down access into all of your gear, clothes, diapers, wet naps, whatever you wanna carry in this bag. Um, speaking of carrying, this bag is 20 liters, which for me is a, a good amount of storage. I would say, <clears throat> even with two kids, we like to travel pretty lightly. My oldest can get access to food, drinks, at any restaurant, any store, my youngest, you know, we still have space in here for me to carry extra milk, bottles, diapers, change of clothes, um, and anything else they might need. And that is on top of the camera gear that I like to bring when I bring a backpack like this out. So I get to bring all my essentials on both the camera and the kid side. So let's turn this thing around and talk about what makes this a hybrid backpack, and it's these backpack straps. Um, I would say compared to the other Peak Design products, uh, like the Everyday Sling or their Everyday Backpack, which is incredibly popular, these straps are not great. They are a bit thin. There's not a lot of cushion here, but I think that's okay, um, especially for the way that I use it. Like I said, I don't load this thing up with heavy, heavy camera equipment. I usually load up half of it with the camera equipment I want, the other half with the family essentials that we need to bring with us when we go on any trip or any day trip where I want to bring more stuff. The other nice thing you'll notice is, yes, the straps are at least thick enough and 
plush enough to mount a Peak Design capture clip, which I use, again, pretty frequently. It's great being able to swing the backpack over, take out your camera, throw the backpack back on, and then just clip this camera right onto the capture clip while you go about your day. So you've got your camera out, you're still pretty hands-free, uh, and again, your gear is secured all inside this bag. One other thing that I'll bring up about these backpack straps is that if you look closely here, there is another opening with a magnetic closure. You can actually remove the straps using these clips and you can tuck these straps right into the back of this camera. So with the straps tucked away, your primary mode of carry would be these handles. Um, the nice thing is, I guess if you're running through an airport or if you're just going somewhere where you don't want hanging straps floating around and you want to just be able to grab this or maybe hook this to some type of luggage carry, that's a convenient way to do it. I rarely tuck the backpack straps away. I like to be able to just grab the camera by the handles or grab it by the backpack straps and throw it over my shoulder and then be able to go. Um, one of the things that I will kind of mention before we jump into the inside is, it's just the overall design aesthetic and form factor of this backpack. This has 20 liters of storage and even with that good amount of, of storage, this is still a pretty sleek, well-designed backpack. I'm a bit of a fan of this particular style because it does look different than the everyday Peak Design um, backpack. And the, the reason why I wanted something that looks slightly different is, again, because that backpack is so popular, I feel like uh, anyone, with a, anyone with an ear to the ground knows it's filled with camera gear. This is a little bit different. It doesn't look very much like the everyday backpack with the magnetic closures in front. So that's another reason, you know, if you're paranoid like me about theft or people being able to identify that this is a camera bag, the profile of this bag really fits my needs. I think it holds a lot. It's sleek. It does not get in the way. And I think for, for dads, we kind of get stuck in this world where you have to carry around a massive diaper bag or, you know, one of those obscure laptop bags filled to the brim with things. I don't think that's really the case anymore. Um, we've been pretty successful kind of going about our lives packing minimally. I don't carry a large backpack. My wife doesn't carry a large backpack. I'd say this is the largest backpack I would carry. But the nice thing about this is I only use half the space for the things we need for the kids. The other half is for, for my storage, for dad's camera gear, the things that I want to use to create when we're out and about. I don't think you have to sacrifice the functionality of a bag by packing it full of kids stuff. So we bring what we need for the kids, but we also bring everything we need for me, which is why I really like this bag. Okay, so let's jump inside. First, let's start over here with these full length zippers. When you zip this open, what you're gonna see inside is I think pretty classic of a Peak Design product, right? You're gonna see the origami style flaps that pop in and pop out. And again, what you're gonna see here is these are completely removable. Okay, so I'm gonna rip this out and show you. This is the divider, the origami style modular dividers that come with the everyday tote pack. Again, super useful. If you're familiar with any Peak Design products, you're going to know how to use these. You're gonna recognize these, but if you're not, this divider allows you to fold, make smaller compartments, and then also these Velcro pieces on the side allow you to position it anywhere you want inside this bag. Now with the tote pack, you can position it closer to the outside. So when you zip it wide open, you're able to kind of access your gear without going too deep in, or you could position it a little deeper if you've got thicker gear um, there's one on the other side, so you can position them both to kind of fit your needs. And I will show you how I configure mine a little bit later in this video. Same thing goes from the other side. We're gonna open this thing right up. And again, you're gonna see I've got two 
sub compartments open. This allows me to slide in lenses, uh, other small camera equipment. On the other side, I may use this to obviously, you know, house a large insulated bottle full of milk. We can put some snacks, we can put other things here. And then when I show you the inside, that's kind of where we can also put other things. So let's open this thing up from the top. Like I said, this awesome, first the magnetic handles, then you've got the magnetic closure for the roll top style opening. And then you've got the zipper, which I've already opened. And what you're gonna see inside, again, is just top down access to those um, flaps and compartments that you customize. So for me, I like to leave a pretty arms thickness gap in the center. And I will show you later in some B-roll on why I do that. But what I'll say is, I can pack all of my camera gear on one side, can pack the kids, snacks, water bottles, bottles, other things on the other. And in the center, you would actually be surprised with how much you can put in here. I can fit an entire Peak Design travel tripod right down the center. And then I also bring a travel tube light. Um, and again, that's just my personal carry. I like to have some type of lighting around with me all the time, whether or not we're hiking, shooting things, um, or just in general, the tube light that I use is basically indestructible. It's waterproof. It's got eight hours of battery life. So it's both a survival light and a film and uh, videography light. Uh, what you'll notice here, if you're looking down, is a pretty tight laptop compartment. And in here is like a smaller, tablet compartment. So you can see laptop goes here, tablet goes in here. Uh, I don't carry my laptop when we travel. It just doesn't make sense for me. I, I will bring an iPad if I need to, but for the most part, I don't use those two compartments. Uh, interestingly enough, what I do use these compartments for is laying flat diapers and wet naps. And honestly, dads, you know exactly what it is. Our backpacks are almost always filled with just diapers, wet naps, they take up a lot of space. So one other compartment that I wanna mention is this tiny little one right on the outside. We're gonna just zip this open. This is pretty small. You're not really gonna get much use out of it. I keep tiny things like this is a little dustpan for my lenses. Uh, this, I think you'll probably be familiar with these if you're not. These are straps that come with most of your Peak Design backpacks and bags. And what they do is they allow you to clip to the outside of the bag and then secure, I don't know, jackets, a tripod. You can secure anything you want to the exterior of the bag. And it's basically held in place by these crisscrossing straps. I just keep them in here. Also, this is kind of cool. Just I don't know if you can, you can probably see that, but if you open this up, there's a bungee cord attached to one of the Peak Design anchors, anchor clips, and then an anchor point you can attach to keys or I don't know, like a binky if you don't want to lose it or a child's plaything. Uh, I don't attach it to anything right now, but I would probably attach it to keys. And then again, it's just a nice little feature. It stays in there. The thing that I will say about this compartment is that the bag itself is pretty rigid, right? So the shape, this bump right here is a rigid bump. It's built into the shape of the bag. So when you look in this compartment, you're actually not getting a lot of space because that bump takes up a lot of the, the space in here. I put a few batteries in here really small things but if you i find that if you overstuff this it it gets hard to close and then this bump like really protrudes out so like it is a it's a bit of a pain it's not a very useful compartment in my opinion but sd cards batteries like little tiny things uh can go in there i just don't like my bags to look like they're bulging and bulging and exploding so i don't really fill it with much one thing i will say and this is just my opinion is that I feel like when we become dads, we automatically think we have to go out and buy a giant diaper bag with all the perfect compartments for milk bottles and a sleeve for wet naps so you can pull your wet naps out of a side pocket. 
Um, that's not the case. I did, I've spent a ton of money on different diaper bags and different like dad bags that are supposed to meet your family and like childcare needs. Uh, they don't. I actually think that most things that are marketed as diaper bags come in the crappiest materials. The build qualities are garbage. I think they mark up bags at inferior quality because it's a baby bag. It's something for your child. It's supposed to help you be a better parent. Um, baby bags, I think for the most part are kind of garbage. In my opinion, I think camera bags and tech bags are actually a lot more functional as baby bags. And again, I think because it serves, first of all, camera and tech bags serve the purpose of the creative dad or the creative parent that wants to carry their gear when they're going out with their family. But it's also multifunctional enough that it can mold and fit to the needs of your kids, right? So like, why can't you put a water bottle in here? You can, instead of filling it with water, you fill it with milk for the kids. You can put smaller containers and things in here, food and snack, a change of clothes. All of those things will fit in here on top of the camera gear and other creative gear that you want to bring when you go out with the kids. And it will do it really well. Anyways, for 180 bucks, this bag is totally worth it. This is my go-to bag. I use it for everything. I'm never worried about anything I carry in here getting wet, getting damaged, um, including my camera gear and all the other stuff I carry around for the family. All right, everyone, and that is my review. Like I said, I think this is the perfect backpack for me as a creative dad that's on the go with kids. Uh, it helps me pack all my camera gear safely. It also packs all the kids and the family's things safely. And uh, if you like this content, definitely hit the like button, subscribe for more videos. I will continue to release new things, drop comments, suggestions, or questions in the comment section below.